Here we go again, back with more World España 2016, stage 4 from Ben Betanzos to San André de Traxido. Stage 4, it's another hilly stage, it's a pretty similar finish to the one yesterday, the climb is a lot longer though, and not as steep, so should probably have a bit more mountain skills today than compared to yesterday, where it was more maybe hill stats that mattered. You can also see once again, it's probably the climb as you, you would see here, and kind of hill riders here, but Rivera is the favorite, Chavez has won the last two stages, can he make it three in a row? I think he can. I'm, I am playing a normal, not easy. I probably should, at this point, pull it up to to hard, because it's honestly been too easy so far. But I can't do it now, so yeah. You got to suffer with me probably winning a lot of stages and maybe even dominating their competition. But still, the harder mountain stages, or the longer mountains, will probably be more difficult compared to Contador, Fruma, Quintana, who are at least three stats better than me here. On stages like this, I'm better than them in the hills, so I think I feel like I should have an advantage here compared to them. But now let's get into the stage and uh, take maybe our third stage win in a row and extend our lead as much as possible before we get into the really tough long climbs. Okay, last 15 kilometers now, and we're almost at the bottom of the climb here. You can see there's a small flat section here, just trying to get Kirkalea for forward here to maybe get some last bottle of water here to Simon Jarens. Yates and Chavez, my fun free duo. I think they'll end up being on this stage here. I'm thinking about pacing with uh, Yates from the bottom of the climb here and see if I can win a stage with one of my maybe lesser good riders. I don't know if you can say that because he's still a great rider. Did I get water for Chavez? Okay, I got here. So now there's a breakaway up around like four or five minutes. Not enough. Two minutes ahead here. So we'll go with Yates here. He's been predicting. Chavez all day long here now. Let's see what he can do himself. And then we'll put Simon Gerrans, even though he's probably a good shot at winning himself. We'll put him on Chavez just to protect him instead. Let's see if he if Chavez can get up. Or Gerrans can get up to Chavez here. I don't want Chavez to to go with. Yeah, you can see now. So now it's but I will have to close the gap, and he's one of the favorites himself. Jack Hay can stop working, so can Hausen. It's been him, Hausen, Haig, uh, Burley, and Swine Tooth working all days long. You can see the person is stretched out now with Simon Yates, I think it is. Yeah, putting a tough pace for us. Caught up with the break right now, only Kaiser is up ahead here. 72 Hill, not the best, but still a great rider. Jarvis is sitting here with Simon Jaron still. Jarens and Javis are still looking strong, both of them. And I think that he yeah, just dropped Rojas. So now it's Quintana himself sitting back here now. Let's see if they if they are really working to get catch the Yates or they'll just let him go away. Because he's not really that big of a threat for the GC. He's two minutes behind. It's just they probably don't want another rider up in the top of the standings. So Kaiser, the Lotto Jumbo Dash, is called only 24 riders. It's the best of the best here. A few riders, Jason was here, for example. Uh, it is Sunday. Shinny, De Gent, Herada, I'm on Ford, Adam Hansen is getting back. Okay, here's the attack. Valverde comes it off room. Everybody going now. I just have to stay in the group here. Kvitkovsky in second position. Froome is there as well. All of them are here. Of course, a very exciting stage yesterday. I thought Froome was gone. I think he always does it where he drops off and gets back, but I really thought he was long gone yesterday. Okay, it still has a little gap. Bagil goes again now. And Charles will have to follow again here. Get a little bit caught behind some riders, but Bagil is going up to Yates now. Only 3.6 to go. I feel like Yates Chavez has so much in the left, especially because he's just been protected by Jones all the way up the climb here. Bagil has a 20 second gap now down to the rest of the Pelton, but Chavez, in my opinion, is the favorite for winning the stage now. But Vad has lost a lot of energy. Jones is gone now. I think he's done everything he could. Ah, I can't beat Chavez. I can't beat my bad in the sprint, I don't think so. 
it's Valverde, it's Vekovsky, it's Scaponi, it's Bagil, Roland, Igon Ton, Froome, Contador is here. Pretty much all of DC riders. I took take a fourth place, Valverde took, took the win ahead of Kvyatkovsky, Scaponi, Contador in sixth, Froome in eleventh. I don't think there's pretty much any time gaps at all here. I lost out just on bonus seconds. Well, this is a bit, un bit unfortunate, but no real time gaps between the favorites on this stage. Jaren's falls back and loses his green jersey, but really doesn't matter too much. I could probably have attacked earlier on with Charles and I would have won the stage easily, by because they always win wait for the sprint. So if I had just gone from the bottom to climb here, where I went with Yates, if I got done the same with Charles, I think I would have won the stage. But I decided not to, and I ended up losing the stage, but still in the red jersey, and that's really all that matters right now. Let's see the results, which I don't think have changed a lot. So states ended up being won by Valverde, Kvitkovsky, Scaponi, ahead of my best rider, Chavez and fourth. Means that I'm still in the leader's jersey. Yates also finished 18th. So I'm first now. Uh, still 31 seconds ahead of Kvitkovsky now with bonus seconds. He's jumped up to second. Uh, Yates has jumped up a few places to 17th after a great performance today. Jones, meanwhile, drops a little bit back. He lost uh, one minute today, so he's dropped back from like... Let's, let's subtract one minute, 247. So he would have been like 13, 14 if I have just at least friends split with him, he would probably have been there, but didn't matter too much to me and still a great result either way. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll be back again tomorrow for stage 5, which will be once again a flat stage, but there's a quite a little bit of a hill at the end. So it can easily be for both breakaway riders, but also maybe a rider like Simon Jones again. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.